What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. And you guys can hear the excitement in my voice, right? Because for some reason, I believe that Kim would have done what she did. And to many people, it's going to be like nothing. But I'm here to tell you guys that Kim is up to no good. Now, we know that Ye and his wife, they are currently trending. They're buzzing. All the media outlets are talking about Ye and Bianca. Mostly Bianca. Bianca has captured the spotlight. She is the woman of the moment. She's the one that all the media outlets are focused on. But there's this thing about Kim that many people are aware of and some of us may not be aware. And that is, once Ye keeps ignoring Kim, taking steps to avoid her, what she normally does is to weaponize the kids against him. We've seen where she has done this with North and Pete, also Saint, on numerous occasions, right? But mostly North. Because Kim knows that Ye is sensitive about the girls and, you know, Kim and Chris turning them into a Kardashian thought. We've seen the conversations, we've seen the tweets, and because Kim knows that this is Ye's greatest fear, what she does is that whenever she's not having her way with him, she consistently preys on his emotions. And I'm going to tell you how Kim recently preyed on Ye's emotions. Now, Kim posted a video of Chicago. She was dressed as a child, very beautiful, but Chicago was wearing a lip color. Now, I have to say that many of us kids, you know, many of us, when we were kids, we did wore a little lip color and a little bit of brat nail polish here and there. Ain't nothing big about it, but did our mom and dad post us on Instagram with lip color? Like hell, no, they didn't. That was just for our own you know, development skills and our own playtime. We weren't promoted on the internet and many of us parents does not see it fit to have kids being paraded on the internet wearing lip colors because we know the Pedialytes, right? Don't correct my words. I have to be calculated with what words I say, okay? So read between the lines. We know that the Pedialytes are on the internet. So more parents are being tactful in if they post their kids, how they're posted. Many of them ensures that those kids do not even have the slightest reminder of anything, you know, like an adult, even though you don't need to do that for a Pedialyte to get ideas. Let's keep it real. So I'm not going to include Chicago's photo because when I do that, some people can be really mean, and if I don't have to, I'm not going to do so. Because I don't like people coming into my comment section to say, this child is prettier, that child is prettier, this child is this, or that child is that. I believe kids are innocent, beautiful, and should be treated with love, care, and respect. No comparison between kids, okay? Now, back to what I was saying. So Ye has been, you know, treating his wife to the best lifestyle that he can. And we knows that Ye loves to spoil a woman. And especially when that woman is his wife, she is the center of attention. Now, we're not saying that Ye is ignoring his kids. Because one thing we know for sure is that Ye does spend time with his kids. But some people may believe that he doesn't spend time with his kids because he doesn't parade the moment that he spends with his kids on the internet. Normally, when we see photos of Ye spending time with his kids on the internet, those moments were captured by someone who decides to share. And once they see Ye's face saying, no picture of my kids, we know that that individual knows that he's hella serious about anyone taking photos 
of his kids. Ye is hypersensitive when it comes to his kids. He's not super sensitive. He's hyper. It's above super sensitive, right? So he's very protecting of his kids. And the slightest things surrounding his kids, the slightest unpleasantry that anyone does as it relates to his kids triggers him, right? So who knows this better than anyone else? Kim, of course. So what Kim did, Kim know that Ye is trending. Kim knows that everyone was there anticipating moments of Ye and his wife, Bianca, in Italy, right? Yesterday also, I said the city of Italy in my video. And somewhat, you know, I've seen a few comments saying the city of Italy. Listen, sometimes you're making contents and there's so much ideas in your head and you have some things put together and because you want to get everything in, you're going to slip up, okay? It's like a typo, okay? I know that Italy's not a city, but okay, let's get into it, right? So no one knows better how to trigger Ye than Kim. So we would normally see where if Ye is not meeting Kim's demand or giving Kim any attention, or, or if Ye seems too happy with his wife, what does Kim normally do? She would normally weaponize North against Ye. She would go on TikTok, have the child dressing adults like, doing contents that are inappropriate because she knows that that triggers Ye. So now that the world has seen Kim doing that to trigger Ye, Kim is getting more, Kim is becoming more tactful. Because make no mistakes, Kim is not a fool. And that is the reason why she has been able to manipulate the media in the means and ways that she has been successful in doing so far and continues to be successful in doing so far. So Kim knows that Ye is already saying that Chicago is going to either be a problem or a blessing because Chicago is just like Kim. So Ye is even more sensitive, more protecting of Chicago, and he wants Kim to limit the the lip colors, the makeup, and all of that for Chicago because Chicago is really not ready for that. And he doesn't want Kim to be encouraging the behaviors that Chicago already has, right? So what does Kim do? Now that Ye is ignoring her, everyone is waiting on photos of Ye and his wife, Bianca, to pop up on the net, you know, because when they went to Italy, we know that there would have been some photographs at some point in time. Kim knows this as well, and she knows that this is what the internet has been anticipating. So what does Kim do when Ye is happy? And to distract Ye and to take away from that, and wanting you to engage in some type of conversation with her, she moves on to plan B. The plan B is the next daughter that she has, Chicago. Put some lip colors on Chicago. She's dressed as a child, so everyone will think that it's cute, and poor Kimmy is not doing anything wrong. But if you know the play of the Narcissist Playbook, you would know that Kim is trying to get Ye's attention. She wants Ye to be calling her, complaining about the baby girl wearing a lip color. There's one thing we can say for a fact, and that is we've never seen Chicago around her dad in a lip color. Also, when Chicago is around her dad, she's dressed as a child. So what does Kim do? Kim ensures that Chicago is dressed exactly as she would around her dad, but she ensures that she put that lip color there because Ye does not want to see Chicago in any lip colors, makeup, or anything of that nature, much less to be posted on the internet in it. So Kim is being very calculated in her move. And if you dare say something about it, the internet is going to be 
Like, poor Kim. She just wants to post her daughter. She's a mom who should be allowed to post her daughter. I don't see where she has done anything wrong. But for those who have dealt with a narcissist, they will tell you that this is one of the biggest plays that a narcissist can do. I can tell you that in my personal life, I have de dealt with narcissists. And a narcissist, when they're attacking you and they want to look innocent, right? What they do is to use a method or a strategy that only you, the person that they want to attack, and them can identify. So if you, who is getting attacked, should speak out, you would look crazy as hell, and they would look innocent, and they would look like the victim of the person who is being attacked. And the person who is being attacked will end up looking like a narcissist. And that is why many people believe that Ye is a control freak and a narcissist. Because when he speaks out, people say that he's a problem. But if you don't know the narcissist playbook, you would definitely think that Kim is the innocent one and Ye is the narcissist. When it is Kim who is consistently abusing Ye and she does so quietly. How do I know these things? It's because I've dealt with people like Kim. I've seen them. I've experienced them personally. Narcissist attacks in ways only you and them can identify. So if you talk about it, if you speak out about it, if you tell anyone else about it, they will say you're overreacting. And then that narcissist gets to laugh at you and they win the day. So Kim is trying to distract Ye because Ye knows now that if, he, that if, that if he calls Kim to address it, Kim is going to start crying and, and complaining to everyone that Amy Ye is attacking her when that's definitely not the case. It is her who is doing the attacking and she's doing so out of enviousness and jealousy. She is envious that she wasn't able to get back this version of Ye, not because she didn't want to, because she, but because she failed to try. And she is jealous that Bianca has the version of Ye that she wanted to win back. She wanted to get back, but she didn't simply because she failed. And that's all I have to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And see you all later. Bye, guys.